Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial with Joanne Mulligan. Today I'm going to tell you about the different types of stamps offered by Stampin' Up! and how to mount them for use. Stampin' Up! offers three different types of stamps. You have wood mount, clear mount, and photopolymer. I'll flip these around so you can see what they look like from behind. The wood mount and the clear mount are both made out of the same deeply etched rubber. The difference is the wood mount hence the name, is mounted on a nice maple block. It's mounted once and it's permanent. It doesn't come off. The clear mount is reusable. You mount those onto acrylic blocks. You just mount them, use it, and then you just store them back in the little case and your acrylic blocks go back into a case of their own. The photopolymer is made from a nice clear photopolymer. These are really good for when you want exact placement because since they're clear, you can see exactly where you're going to place the stamp. For the wood mount and the clear mount, the preference is all yours, whatever you'd like to do. I prefer to get clear mount just because it, the space I have is limited. So these, if you notice the case, is a lot thinner than in the wood mount. The wood mount is your classic stamp, but I like the clear mount for storage purposes. Now I'm going to show you how each one works and how to mount them. We'll start with the wooden stamp. When you open it up, you're going to have a label, a block, and your die. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way, and I'm going to figure out how it's going to hold in my hand. I like to have, make sure the grooves are where my thumb and my other fingers meet. So I'm going to mount the stamp this way so when I flip it over, it's going to have that nice feel from when I stamp. Very simple. All you do is peel the backing off, it has the adhesive right on it. If you heard my chair squeak, I just had to stand up for this. And I'm just going to mount that right in the center of my block. Press it down firmly, firmly, I don't think firmly is a word, and there you go. Now you want to put your label on. So you just flip it over and you take your label, peel that right off the sheet and that goes right on the back. And there's your index right on your block. And that is how that gets mounted. Very simple, very easy. You can do other things. Sometimes people don't like to get their wood blocks stained. Before you do this, if you'd like, you can cover it with some packing tape. That'll keep your block so it doesn't get stained with ink. Also, sometimes, even though that you can pull these out of the little, um, out of the forms, sometimes there's a little bit extra rubber and I don't always like to have that extra rubber so sometimes I'll go in with a sharp pair of scissors and just trim the die slightly just to make sure that I don't have a lot of excess rubber so when you ink up your stamp you have less chance of getting that halo image with the ink getting onto the edges. So that's how you mount the wood stamps. I'll just put that aside. Now I'll show you what to do with your clear mount. The clear mount comes same thing, you get your sheet of dies, you also get your labels. I'm just going to take one, we'll just take our snowman right here. And these sets that I'm using are from the new 2016 holiday catalog. So what I'm going to do is I'll just set that aside for now and have my labels here. Here is your die, you're going to peel this off. There is no sticky on the back of here, it's just foam. It's very smooth. And then I'm going to take my label. So what I do is I take half of this off and I line it up. I line up the edges that do not have the sticky. Make sure I get it right on the back. And then you just smooth it over and then go through here and you just pull that off. Whoops. And there you go. Now this will get mounted onto an acrylic block. I like to make sure that the acrylic blocks are nice and clean, so I use the cleaning cloth that Stampin' Up! has. It's sold separately. When you're doing these, um, you don't need to buy all the blocks. There are a lot of different blocks to choose from. I recommend you start with sizes C, D, E, and H. That will give you a good variety to start. And this just gets mounted right on the back. And there you go. And when you're done, you simply take it right off. And this goes right back into the case. Sometimes if it isn't clean, the block, 
it doesn't want to stick very well. Here's a couple little tricks. You can use some lip balm. Don't use the shiny stuff, it has to be waxy. And you can just put a little bit on the back and it'll stick really nice. Plus it smells nice and minty too. And that'll stick right there. When you peel it off, you'll have a little bit of stuff there. Just wipe it off with your cleaning cloth and you're good to go. Then you can just wipe off your stamp. And that just gets stored. I store mine right back in where they were. I usually flip it around. That way they don't fall all over the place. And I just put it right back in just like that. Close it up when you're done after you have everything mounted and you're ready to go. The final one is the photopolymer. When you open up your case for these, you'll see it has one sheet that you just can peel right off for now. Keep it, don't put it anywhere. And these are very, very sticky. They're very flimsy and very sticky. All you do is just stick it right onto a block. And there you go, you're all set to go. The good thing about photopolymer, since you can see exactly where everything is, I like to load up stamps. So I want it to say Merry Christmas wishes, and I want it to be right underneath my reindeer. So I am going to just put it right on the bottom. And there you go, you just have to stamp once, and it can be, it looks like one stamp that you made from two separate ones. Also another fun thing you can do with the photopolymer, since they're so pliable, if you want, you can bend this slightly to give it a little bit of a shape. And now my Merry Christmas is bowed right over the top of my reindeer. There's a lot of little things you can do with these. You One little thing about the photopolymer stamps, they do hold the ink, so they will stain. It does not affect how they are used. It just doesn't look very good. Um, one other thing, you don't want to use stays on ink with these. It can deteriorate the photopolymer over time, and you never ever want to use stays on cleaner. It will deteriorate the stamp as well. Stays on is for strictly for the red rubber. So remember, stays on goes with the red rubber, and you can use regular classic ink. You can use memento ink, the archival ink on these, but just stay away from the stays on because it is. A more caustic ink and it will deteriorate these stamps. If you like this video please like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to visit my website stamptillyoudrop.com. I can also be found on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thank you for watching and happy stamping!